Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel, more secret number today. However, this is a live performance which we haven't checked out yet so far. Um, a live cover actually of Boa's number one. Boa being kind of a pioneer of K-pop, the queen of K-pop sometimes people call her. Um, I guess she started out sometime in the early 2000s and kind of what we know K-pop to be today is, you know, can see, be seen through her, brought it to maybe an international stage and brought it to a, a greater popularity in the world, which is really cool. And being an older song, I expect it to kind of have maybe that 90s, uh, early 2000s flair to it. Um, cutesy is what I'm expecting. Um, some kind of traditional K-pop cutesy stuff. Uh, being that, I'm assuming Leah is really going to thrive in this. I'm expecting her to. She always puts on uh, a cutesy face in all of their performances I've seen so far. Which, if you have not checked out, I have a, a secret number playlist where we have um, Dita's uh, dance performances that were mostly pre-debut. We have uh, their dance practices along with my reaction to both their songs that they've released so far. But yeah, we're slowly draining the well of secret number content while we wait for either another comeback or something else for them to put out. But as for now, we have a secret number with their live cover of Boa's number one. <laughs> Oh yeah, it already sounds like a throwback retro song. Look at Dita killing it in the center though! Okay, so this seems... This seems like a song that they recorded, pre-recorded vocals for. Um, no live singing here, which is disappointing. I want to hear some live singing. If there's any um, clips of that that you guys know of, please link them down below and I'll for sure check that out. Uh, Dina looks so good though. They all do. Denise is such a good vocalist already. Being a rookie, it's like shocking how good she is, especially because she's the Makne. Yeah. Yeah. Like I expected, Leah is really killing. The Ooh, wait. I spoke too soon. Hold up. Little mistake. Little mistake. They're rookies. It's gonna happen. She almost trips here. That's rough, but she plays it off like a pro. She keeps going. She puts on a smile and they just keep on moving. Listen, I mean, I watched I watched their dances. I've seen their dance practices. I've seen what Dita can do um, in their uh, in her like pre-debut stuff. We know they're all crazy talented, especially for rookies, but there's going to be growing pains. It just happens. That's what you have to expect. There's going to be issues. There's going to be things that they need to work on, and it's just going to be a thing. No group is perfect, um, whether it's from debut or even four years, five years into their career. It just doesn't happen. Um, so, yeah, there's that small mistake there, but... Leah moves on from it, but then there's also just, you know, small things like here where they're just slightly off sync. Not only off sync, but like going down to different levels. They're all at different heights. So just little stuff like that. But otherwise, they kept up with it. You had a mistake and they kept up with it. I also really like how because they... Well, I'll let it go a little further, but... I like how... Um, Sorry, I can't speak because Denise's stage presence is so on point. Okay, now they look really in sync. Ooh, yeah, they're feeling it now. I wish this was live. I would have loved to hear Janice sing that part. There's also, like, a big thing in K-pop now where, like, they're wearing denim like crazy, and it's working. <sighs> Denise's vocals. What I was going to say is I really like how being a group that um, debuted in quarantine, you know, with us being in quarantine and, and COVID being a thing, uh, I love how they were able to connect with their fans in some way. And in this whole background, you could see, like, live streams, I suppose of fans who maybe want a chance to be in the background of this performance. That's so cool. I think Leah's visuals here work a lot better just because the song suits her more. Oh, 
Also, I don't really know a lot about, I guess, more of their vocals. A lot of you linked me to some videos, uh, I forget which they were, of just videos that showed more of their vocals off. Um, I need to also just see more of the other members outside of Dita, because I've really spent a lot of time on her. Like Sudam, I, I don't know much about her or what she's capable of. <laughs> this song is a total throwback. Feels very 90s. You could hear those electronic drums. Well, oh. Do -do 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 -do. Did this have lyrics? No. Or captions, rather. Yeah, they look real in sync now. They just had to, you know, feel the rhythm of it, get, in, get into the groove. See, look, her visuals, her visuals work on this song on so many levels. The camera loves Dita and Denise. <laughs> catchy song, very catchy song. I could see it as being an older song in K-pop for sure. Um, definitely rings true in that regard, but I really enjoyed that. It was great to see a live performance from them finally. I've, I've, I've watched so many of their videos already, and I know they don't have a ton of content out because they're such a new group, but to see live performance is really cool. I don't know. Do they have like a uh, a debut stage or or something of that of that? you know, vain, because I really, really have to see them perform Hootis either live or especially if they do any live vocals. If any of you guys know of a video where I could watch at least some of them sing live, it doesn't even have to be one of their songs. It could be pre-debut. Please link me down below. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, please like it down below. Please subscribe for more Secret Number and a lot of other groups. I react to tons of different stuff, but always know that when Secret Number releases something, I will be there to react to it. Um, you guys seem to enjoy them. Thank you so much for supporting me. A lot of you Indonesian fans, thank you so much. I'm so happy that you guys have some representation and K-pop in Dita to kind of um, support one of your own um, in the industry. That's very, very cool. And yeah, that's pretty much all for me today. And I will catch you guys in the next video.